while sleeping under the bridge, a few folks saw me and came and said, well, you know, you could go across the street to get some help, whether it was food, take a shower, clothing, stuff like that. Um, initially, I just came in for basic help, just for a place to stay. Then spoke to Mr. John Leonardo and Chris Thomas, a former volunteer. And then they told me about <clears throat> the discipleship program. Um, my role really ba is basic, just to oversee the women, make sure they follow the basic rules. Also assist to bring them closer to Jesus. We have different uh, Bible studies and filling in any capacity that they might need me throughout the day. Uh, the heartbeat is pretty much to assist folks on substance abuse and help them find their way through Jesus. On a daily basis for the residents, we have Bible studies uh, three different times a day. Or you could have a one-on-one -on -one with the different leaders, meaning staff members or they take you on a <clears throat> evangelizing on the streets, just walking, meeting folks, and talking. Once you see the leaders, example set, example follow, so you see them walking a godly life, and that encourages you to want to actually do the same, whether it's by reading, evangelizing, fellowship, different things. By bringing you in initially, sharing the word with you so that you could get some knowledge, and then taking you out on different, uh, whether it's uh, the outreach, or evangelizing, or taking you to different organizations to spread the word. Different ways you could come in personally and volunteer to serve food, help clean up, or do a Bible study. You could donate clothing, food, or your time. Now, because I love it, and I love being exposed to Jesus and reading the Word, hoping that it's something that I can continue to do until the Father is ready.